Hey friends, uh, I've got to just say it's getting old, this uh, coronaphobia thing. Um, I appreciate that there are some people out there that are scared. Uh, I appreciate that Corona is a, is a real deal and has been for a lot of years and people die from it um, and they die from other stuff and they die from Corona. And I, I understand that if you're over 70, you're probably really scared. And if I was, I might be too. If I didn't have that stoic foundation of saying, hey, I've lived a good life and, and I'm ready to go anytime. Or if I was just loving life and I wanted to live longer, then I think I would change my risk preferences. Um, I hope I wouldn't ask you people, you people under 70, to change your risk preferences. Uh, you, you get to make your own choices about your life. If I'm really scared, then I should probably stay inside. I should probably encourage the free marketplace to develop a mask or some sort of protective device so that I don't get it, that it stops incoming. But I would certainly never be, uh, be so disrespectful or show such contempt for you the people under 70 that I would ask you to go way out of your way and, and have, you know, thousands or tens of thousands of people commit suicide over the stress of mandatory uh, face diaper laws. And, and I would never do that to you guys. And uh, I'm sorry that, uh, sorry that some people have chosen that. I'm really getting sick of it. Um, I'm ready to just live my life, evaluate my own risks, uh, live life according to my own uh, preferences. And, and I appreciate that now in September 2020, there have been about 10,000 people in the United States that have died that have been otherwise healthy. But these are not people that are, are 78 years old, which is, is getting right in there one year away from when statistics say that the, the average person is going to die here. So we're talking about completely healthy people, and there have been about 10,000 people. I know you're thinking that's nothing compared to completely healthy people that die in auto collisions or that end up getting heart disease. or any. I know it's a minuscule number, but it's real. If you have a family member that has you know, been exercising their whole life and, and they eat right and they have no diseases and, and they're living this wonderful, clean life and, and they get COVID and they die, that's really lousy. And my heart goes out to you, and I'm, I'm sorry that's happened. Um, I, I don't know anybody that that's happened to. I do know a number of people that have died uh, of, of COVID or, and, and I have no family members, that kind of thing. But it's all been, you know, not in that category of under 70, really healthy, living a healthy lifestyle. So I don't wish any punishment on anybody that chooses not to live a healthy lifestyle. Golly knows I don't. I'm getting ready to go have a martini right now. I just had a big steak. That ain't the healthiest way to live, I guarantee. Um, but I'm willing to accept that risk, and I'm willing to accept the risk of being in a crowd of 10,000 people, nobody wearing a mask. I'm really not worried. And if I die of coronaphobia or COVID-19 in the next couple months, you can laugh and you can poke fun, but it doesn't really change the, the, the basic, the foundation of what I'm saying. Don't be scared of stuff that has a low probability of, of killing you. It kind of ruins your life. Just go out and live and be happy and, and create and, and be good and don't tell other people what to do and just live a good life. And I think that kind of makes good sense for all of us to do, right?